Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. There, have you ever uh, heard of ROMs? Emulators? Oh. Have you ever heard of those before? It, what is it, 1998 right now? Are we... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they still exist for I new used, stuff. I used to have a, a Dreamcast, and I had an emulator disc for it, and it had, like, I don't know. Like, oh, you put the disc in, it'd start, and you'd open it up and put the other discs in. I, I, uh, Matt, uh, yeah, I think it was that, actually. And it had, like, 1,200 NES games and SNES games and stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah. So, there was a guy. Didn't save, his though. His name's Gary Bowser. Oh, we're going to talk about my boy. You know I know. This is video game news. You think I don't know about this? I mean. Keep it going. So he got caught because he hacked a Switch and was providing software to run ROMs on the Switch. Yes. Oh, well, he worked for a company that did it, and they were selling, yes, they were selling ROMs on Switch. And they made quite a lot of money doing so. Yes. So anyways, he ended up getting arrested, going to jail. He ends up owing $14 million in restitution to Nintendo. When he gets out, he he worked the whole time he was in prison. <laughs> he paid all of his wages towards that fine. A hundred and... $175. Yeah. So what they said, though, was they can garnish his wages up to 25 to 30% of his of his wages until he pays it off for the rest of and his life. It's basically cuz he's 50 something years old. It's going for the rest of his life he's going to have to pay 25 or 30% of his wages to Nintendo. And they will take every dime. Got to make an example, man. Nintendo loves making an example. So I think like have you ever been to like Alibaba or anything like that and you see Uh oh is that like the the drop, the dropship uh yeah, I've heard of it. I've never, I don't think I've ever been on it, but I've heard of it. Well, yeah. yeah, you can go there and buy like electronics, and a lot of stuff comes from overseas and stuff. It's so. like a pallet of like as is yeah. DVD players and or they, whatever. And they're like, they were, there was even talks that like uh, the Soldier Boy console that uh, it kind of had like the same kind of feel and look as one of those things you would get on Alibaba. Well, those, those sometimes will have like those emulators on them with like a bunch of games and stuff on it that obviously those persons don't have licensure to, but I think this guy was in a similar boat making a big bank. Apparently he didn't make as much as some of his other business partners did. I don't know if they got away with it or, okay. or something, but apparently he didn't have as much in reserve as some of his other uh, constituents did. Oh. So that's why he is unable to pay <laughs> Nintendo back. Uh, he probably embezzled that man. He's laundered uh, it. He got a he got a sack of cash somewhere he's 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 drawn out of. Do you think it's worth it? Like how long, did, know, how long was he in jail for? I don't know. I don't okay. I didn't see, but like it, that well that's like the old adage like if you could rob a bank and get millions of dollars, get caught but they don't they don't find the money and then you got to spend 10 years in jail and you get out and you're a millionaire. Because you got the cash buried somewhere. Oh, they're gonna is that, follow is that you worth immediately. it? Immediately, they're gonna follow you immediately. Yeah, but I mean, you can still you can tell somewhere else, someone else where it is. Like you know, what I mean, that's you can, what that's what you'd have to. Yeah, do. like there's ways. I mean, they, there are stories about that. Like, oh, we, we we only recovered X amount of the money that you stole, or the jewelry, or the whatever, and they go to jail, and they're like, mm -hmm. and then you're just sitting there for whole, all the ten years, and I'm like, when I get out of here, man. Whoo, millions of dollars in jewels are mine i'll be rich as f like is that worth the, the time in jail yeah yeah how it depends how much time obviously right like if you get but, six months almost any amount of money is worth that but but you're living the life for how long living what you're living the life oh, the prison life no not the prison life i meant the the life of luxury oh yeah because you get out you get that cash or jewels or whatever you go to like the caribbean and just like Live on a beach with a bucket of cash for the rest of your life. It's like I, I truly, I truly uh, understand is that I can never fully grasp like what it means to truly be like wealthy, wealthy. like stupid rich. Yeah, like where like you could spend 10k and not even notice. Yes, like yeah, like yeah, because they talk about people blowing money on stuff and like for it, and it's interesting because we've talked about this before. Like like a pack of ramen noodles to us is what. 25 cents or 30 cents or whatever yeah. but in jail people get stabbed yeah. over it behind the walls that's a lot right so it's like you like i would throw like you know 20 bucks at something be like yeah whatever it's only 20 bucks but to somebody else that's like holy shit 20 bucks is like a big mm -hmm. deal to me mm -hmm. or 
a hundred dollars or like whatever. But yeah, if you get to the point where like even a thousand dollars is nothing, where like Bezos, I could see that dude tipping a thousand dollars and it's like yeah, nothing. Go yeah. go eat at a steakhouse, spend a hundred bucks, tip a thousand dollars. Like what? Why not? Because you want to try to bang the waitress. Yeah, yeah like yeah. whatever. It's a thousand dollars, right? Like <laughs> Elon buying horses for. <laughs> <laughs> You remember the Elon? Okay, so there was. You remember the Elon story? I guess not. Okay. All right, so Elon Musk he apparently was on a plane and he was talking to one of the flight attendants, and he was like, "I like her, so I want to take her home." And <laughs> apparently, he offered her a horse. He said, "You know, what do you like?" She was like, "I like horses." It's like, "Look, I'll buy you a horse. Come to my hotel room," and she was like, "No." <laughs> He's like, "I'll buy you a horse and a stable." And someone to take care of the horse, and we'll get you riding lessons, bro. It, I mean, she still said no, but bro, yeah, come on. And that's not the first time he's got that off. You no. just tossing up horses at chicks. Oh, I, uh, I, it was interesting. Like I remember this time, like, uh, I'll buy you a horse when uh, I went out with a buddy that I went to high school with, mm -hmm. and we. And the uh, and the waitress was like flirting with me, or whatever. Like we were flirt. Me and the waitress were like flirting or whatever. And then like my buddy, like he's like he. You know, I, I don't. I don't even know. He must have. He was like, I'll, I'll take care of it. And 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 he like and he left her a tip, double the, the check. Yeah. And he was just like, Yeah, I hooked you up, dude. I left her. I left a double tip, like a two hundred percent tip. And I was like. How is, why is that girl going to give a shit that you left her that tip for me or whatever? And I'm like, and that's like the mindset those kind of dudes have. <laughs> if you tip, tip, if you tip really? well, like they're going to be like, oh, excuse me, sir. Let me take you in the back I mean, room. And da, it, da, 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 you. It's, it's always a good sign when they see you're a little loose, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're flat, I mean, if you're flashing it around. Exactly. I mean, look, <laughs> it's, it's posturing. If in, if in the baboon world, they would sh like Shake show their, their booty. Yeah. They would show their big red posteriors. I'm doing that with cash. <laughs> Just shoving it in your yeah. butt and turning look, around and be like, look, look what at is, all this money. Exactly. What is like the canonical term for, let me talk to your sister. Let me riz you up, miss ma'am. Let me buy you a drink. That money is, that is that's, that's what i'm saying is like let me buy you a drink is how you all is like the idea of like i'm trying to talk to you you know yeah i don't like that but it is true yeah you've bought drinks for girls no i haven't you don't buy drinks for girls no dude i you went don't over buy with my, with you're my not personality you're not a big drink buyer I, I uh i never understood that i'm not a drinker I never understood that. Me and John, when we, me and Jones go out, uh, I'm the guy who's like, hey, yo, when we doing shots? I mean, yeah, just because I don't walk in the door and buy a round of shots doesn't mean that Let's I'm not a good man. Get the part. I'm not saying nobody's talking about you being a good man. I'm just saying is that you ain't a drink buyer. That's all we're saying. Don't take offense to the statement. It is the truth. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> it is the truth, but it does it's not an indictment on Last you. Last time we went out, I bought a bucket of beers and then left. You did buy a bucket of beers and then you I was I was I was like, I'll be back and just gotten in a text did you was like Uber will be here in three minutes if you wanna go. What do they call that? An Irish goodbye? I don't know. I don't remember. I believe it's like an Irish. Uh, Where you Irish just you wander out and that text everyone had a great time. I'm in the Uber. They're like, "What?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Bye." <laughs> That's, I like how they have like uh, like names for stuff like that. An Irish goodbye. What would a Russian goodbye be, Jonas? Uh, you push someone over and then walk over top of them and leave. Wow. Okay. Uh, what would a, a Chinese goodbye be, Jonas? Give it. I don't know. No. Come on. Oh, the this timer is... went off. <laughs> the timer did not go off. The timer really did go off. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> What would a white goodbye be, uh, TNT? Um, I would imagine. Talk to the manager and I would storm out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk to the manager. And then you drape an American. I'm out of here. I'm not even paying my tab, mister. <laughs> drape an American flag like a cape and fly off <laughs> with an M16. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's, I guess that's American goodbye. Let's just leave it at Let's that. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Anyways, go to thecrazynow.com and subscribe for Jonas. Well, TNT. We up.